Have you ever wondered how your server actually knows what web content to deliver? Well, by nine has the answer. That's Berkeley Internet Name Domain. So this is a little bit more on a deeper dive into DNS. So what is by nine? Basically, it is a program that runs on a Linux or Windows server. It provides domain name services. Basically, it has syntax which dictates the entities inside that web space. There's a list of rules for your naming authority, and those basically map the domain names to the IP addresses. Now, if you want more information on this, you can go to by9.readthedocs.io. And one thing to note here is that this is a service that's running on a public or via a service provider or even locally on your LAN for resolution. Now, let's kind of go into how it's configured. Basically, there's a couple of files here. We've got our base file named.config, and that just basically points to the second file, the zone file, allows you to do some configuration and set logging and things of that nature. Now, in your base zone file, you actually have your domain set. It contains the rules for the zone and a few other parameters that you can set. We'll go through some examples here. Now, one thing to note here NS in these examples stands for name server, MX stands for mail server, the A is an A record, IN is basically an internet, and the at symbol just represents your primary domain, in this case your domain.xyz for our example domain. Now, in this zone file, we are going to set our origin name, which is very simple. We just provide an origin and the name, a simple variable assignment in Linux. And then we define our zone parameters. Now this is an example for our zone parameter for yourdomain.com. So basically we have at, in, SOA, NS1, blah, 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 blah. Basically this sets your name server and it gives an email for contact purposes in this case. Now, the next thing we're going to do inside the zone file is we're going to list the name servers and the mail servers. Now, this is basically done by the same process. We have a in ns for this example, remember ns being name server, and we list our name server. We do the same thing for our mail server. And then finally, we're going to have a few records in here that are a records, and that actually maps the reference directly to the IP address. So in our examples here, we have one for NS1, one for www, and one for mail. Now, in this case, each one of these is on a different IP address, and that is why it's so important to have these rules and why BY9 is so important, because it actually allows you to have multiple different physical locations or physical IP addresses, i.e. servers, virtual servers, whatever, running each one of these different services or access accessible for each one of these different services. All right, everybody, hopefully that opened your eyes a little bit into the deeper depths of DNS. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.